In this video, we will demonstrate the effective use of combined femoral and subgluteal sciatic nerve blocks in patients who are poor candidates for general and spinal anesthesia. This patient is undergoing a major lower extremity amputation, above knee amputation. It can also be used for below knee amputations, and these patients typically present with multiple comorbidities, including diabetes, cardiovascular problems, renal disorders, which increase their risk for significant postoperative complications. Research clearly indicates that there is alarmingly high mortality rates after major lower extremity amputation. As an example, 20% of these patients die within 30 days, and nearly half of them die within a year. The objective of the anesthetic management in patients having lower extremity amputation is to minimize these risks while providing postoperative analgesia that alleviates patient suffering. Combining the subgluteal sciatic and femoral nerve blocks, such as in this video, not only maintains stable hemodynamics during surgery, but also it avoids intraoperative mortality and morbidity. This approach ensures significant hemodynamic stability and superior analgesia throughout the entire perioperative period. To enhance this protocol, we incorporated Expertel in approved indications for sciatic and femoral nerve blocks, optimizing analgesia for our most vulnerable patients. For an in-depth understanding of all techniques demonstrated, be sure to check out the author's signed collector's edition of the Nysora's fabled nerve block manual. This manual is a perfect blend of art and science, making it a prized addition to any coffee table. For details on how to acquire your signed copy and to view the techniques in action, follow the link below. Let's watch the video. So here we have a patient for leg amputation. So we're going to do a subgluteal sciatic nerve and a femoral nerve block for pain. Here we see the patient with severe cardiac conditions, advanced age. And this is uh, the digital. Okay, okay. So the 10 cc is enough. Don't go more than that. That's enough. So here we see clearly the femoral nerve. Here we will be going to the fascia iliaca right now. So let's just briefly discuss this anatomy. So that's the needle, that's the femoral nerve, and that's the fascia iliaca. So all we want to do with the femoral nerve block is really place the needle between the two layers of fascia iliaca and inject local anesthetic that pushes the nerve away. Once we see the nerve move, that is a sure sign that we're in a proper position for the femoral nerve block. It goes into the corner in the femoral nerve sheet. So now we check for the twitch, which is absent. Aspiration. There we go. Injection. Perfect. And now we can see the results of the injection. So that's the fascia iliaca on one layer, fascia iliaca another layer. That's the femoral nerve that has been pushed by the local anesthetic medially. When you see that sign, you know that the injection was proper. No need. For surgery, it'd be different. For post-operative pain relief, you have plenty. Oh, yeah, it's really there's a proper position here, the patient in the oblique position. Even better yet, you can bend this leg like this. Okay. All right, so here you can have an entire anesthetic trajectory. So let's see the popliteal fossa first. So it will give you an orientation. The tibial nerve right there. A little tilt and a pressure. Uh, 
go. Go slightly higher up, there you go. That's your nerve right there. So here's the image of the sciatic nerve in the popliteal fossa. That structure over here is the blocker sheath and that envelops the entire sciatic nerve. That's a tibial nerve and a common peroneal nerve. So when you see this configuration, what we need to do is insert the needle in plane, out of plane, whatever plane, and inject local anesthetic to separate these two nerves inside a common sheath or vlocker sheet. And just follow it up. Okay, that's pretty nice. There you go. And you will get a lot nicer image once you inject local instead. So that's a TBO common perineal. Going. Yeah. Okay, here we go. You should use a little bit of saline if you need to. But you see it, you're almost there. So redirect a bit more laterally. More lateral, yes. Okay, pop in. Push, 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 push. There we go. Very good. Okay. And Jack, perfect. Injections going super well. You, can, you see, you don't really need more than 10 ml of local anesthetic. There you go. Tibial, common peroneal nerve, beautiful sheath around the sciatic nerve. Go proximal now. There you go. Proximally. Keep going more proximal. You'll see you'll trace it even more proximal into the gluteus now. There you go. Keep going. See how much the local anesthetic has spread. Keep going proximal. Keep it in the middle. It's a beautiful spread. You see that? Okay. Good. Very good. That's an excellent indication for the Exparol. For compassionate care in patients having amputation above the knee. And that was it. A video on how to combine femoral and sciatic blocks for above knee amputation in a severely ill patient in whom general anesthesia was deemed risky and spinal anesthesia was contraindicated due to anticoagulation. But for more short videos loaded with tips and tricks on how to improve the success rate and consistency of peripheral nerve blocks and their best uses, be sure to become a member of Nysora's YouTube channel. As a member, you can access the members only videos with an ever increasing number of short, fun to watch videos of patient management with regional anesthesia and tips from actual clinical practice. Think of it as a digital workshop or a boot camp. And be sure to subscribe to the channel and never miss the future videos. Until next time.